Hi everyone, it's KJ here. I'm back with another vlog. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these, but right now I'm in Mobile, Alabama in my small little Airbnb. And I'm actually here to just see everybody that's on the team because of the pandemic and because of school and everything, I haven't gotten the chance to meet everybody in a in-person basis. So it's been really cool over the last couple of days getting to know different people and talking to them. And yeah, I think today will be an exciting day with a lot of stuff, a lot of new updates to give, and, and I'll give you all a behind the scenes look as to what the different people on the team are up to nowadays. So yeah, it should be exciting, and I'm gonna go get dressed and get right to it. Right now I'm walking to our new office that we're setting up. If you remember, Timmy and I were working in this different development center, warehouse type area. And since we were expanding our team, we definitely needed more space and we're all like in the process of moving into this new office place. So today we'll also be moving some stuff over from the development center um, to hopefully furnish this place out and get it functioning pretty soon. So right now, I'm working on a couple of things. I'm looking at the electrical schematics for one of the drones we're working with. It's, been, it's important to understand the schematics um, of the drone, or the electrical schematics, because when we add systems to it, we want to make sure that those systems can get power and I have a schematic they have drawn out of the you know, physical layout of the drone. Um, also, I'm looking at um, you know, sensors. We're always looking at for of sensors that can really work with our system. And because we're working with drones, uh, most of the sensors that we have um, either consume too much power or you know, way too heavy for the drones. We need something light and we need something that consumes you know, the a minimum amount of power that we have. And so we're always looking um, to find sensors that are within those um, requirements. So I just had lunch with Philip, and we're just catching up. It's been a while since I've talked to him, but it's nice. And now I think we're just waiting for Rhett because we're gonna go move the stuff from the other facility over to the new one, like I mentioned earlier. Yeah, everything's really exciting at this point. He had a lot of updates to give me, and yeah, um, if you want more investing information down below, I'm pretty sure um, that net capital offering will still be up by the time I post this video, but it'll probably be a couple days away, so you'll have to get on that. So right now I have to take a bit quick break, but we're just unloading stuff. We made it back to the facility and we're gonna start furnishing this place. So now we just got the desks put in place and um, this is a new area, as you can see, and we'd really like to just show you around. There's a lot of really cool places, not just here. So Josh is gonna take us around and show us everything that's going on. So here's kind of a lounge area. We have refrigerator, microwave, everything we really need for to be comfortable in our space, couches, conference table if we have any visitors. And, um, if we'll walk over here, we kind of have all of our um, office space set up. So uh, plenty of room for everybody to work. Everybody on the team has monitors set up, laptops, whatever we need, office supplies. And um, down here, we have where we're gonna be working on all of our drones. So big open space, which is nice for multiple drones at the same time, whether we're working on electronic components, drone configurations, whatever it may be, we have we have plenty of space now to do pretty much anything we need to. So we're, we're definitely excited about it. So this week, mainly what I'm working on is um, latching system design and kind of analyzing different methods to see what is gonna be most effective for us. Some of the things to take into consideration are whether we're gonna be landing or whether the drone's gonna be hovering when we drop off the package. And this is important because Whenever you look at landing in somebody's yard to deliver a package, you have um, 
you may have an animal, you may have trees, you have obstacles in the way. So this, this latching system design, it's, it's going to take a lot of thought and um, it needs it because of the importance of it. So in here we have smaller office spaces. We won't utilize this area much, but as you can see, a little bit smaller offices compared to our big office space. There are um, these big whiteboards, which are nice if we ever need, need to draw out electrical schematics, whatever, whatever we need to do. We always have this, this is common area as well, so we have access to tables, whiteboards, and there's even some more laid back work. So we have some other pretty cool amenities here, is like this phone booth. Um, if we have private private calls or whatever, usually I think lights are all automatic, and when you come in here, there's noise canceling, so you can't hear anything outside. And a uh, real quiet place, nobody can hear you if it's a private conversation or whatever it may be. So pretty neat. So currently, we've been working on. Uh trying uh, different sensors for obstacle detection as well as looking at uh, using the camera for obstacle detection. Basically we're trying to repurpose a camera um, not just to look at the QR code but also to try and detect if there's something um, in the way when the drone is trying to land. That would reduce the number of sensors that we have to put on board and that would also reduce the um, weight that is going on the drone so that would mean that uh, we can have more payload and that would lead to more revenue. Here we have a uh, banquet type room where if we have if we have visitors in for Deuce Drone or if we need to present something, we have the availability to do that just by reserving the room on the uh, Innovation Portal app. So currently I'm working on flashing the TX2i. So as you can see, this is the TX2i. It has all the connections made to the computer and uh, installing modules and different um, repositories in that. I am also setting up the whole environment uh, which would be required for simulation space. And simulations are important because uh, we kind of have to avoid the crashes with the real drone, so we have to do a lot of simulations in that. And uh, that's what I'm basically working on here. I also, I'm also working on the script for the drone to go from one place to another. So that's basically what I'm working on. So this is one of the conference rooms we have access to and it's got all state-of-the-art equipment. It has um, Apple mirror play to the TVs as well as Chromecast and on the back wall we have the glass whiteboards to write down any meeting notes we have. At the Innovation Portal, we have access to common space as well. And um, as you can see, there's a lot of, a lot of couches, a lot of tables that um, sometimes, sometimes when you work and you just need a comfortable place to sit, and this definitely helps stimulate some creativity and, and break up the usual of sitting behind a desk. So it's definitely nice, but I'll kind of walk you around and show you this common space, nice big open floor plan. have Germex and wipes at every table. Make sure we stay COVID safe. And um, we also have a, uh, a little kitchenette bar area as well. So we have kitchen. They, I mean, open for events. You can get catering. Um, if you have, if we win and if we have something to celebrate, we'll likely bring in catering and uh, Plenty of, plenty of room, plenty of bar space for food or whatever else we can have. And on a day-to-day basis, we have, we have snacks and drinks available to us um, provided by the, the Innovation Portal. Pretty much everything in these fridges is um, free for us to grab. So we have that along with drinks. We have snacks and fresh fruit most days, coffee. Hi, uh, so currently I'm working on testing our sensors in order to do so I'm setting up the simulation space and figuring out how to get our sensors in the simulation space so we can test out our scripts before we do it on the real drone and uh, 
I'm also testing different sensors that we have in like the physical world, like running different tests on them. Like we have different ultrasonics and LiDAR that we have on board with us. So I'm testing that. So today was actually quite the positive day. Um, we talked to someone that may be possibly helping us out on the team that's really technical, has a ton of experience. We have some things laid out for some potential partnerships with different hospitals to deliver COVID supplies from hospital to test center and different logistics people and just so many opportunities are arising right now and it just makes everyone on the team really excited for what's about to happen um, over the next couple of months or so. We also got some giant regulation breaks which make us, uh, which allow us to fly under part 107 and yeah, like we can start really making some deliveries as soon as possible. So we are currently in the process of talking to different vendors about the drone port automation and we are looking for various options and uh, various materials that we could use for that. Uh, this week I'm currently working on the landing gear uh, sizes as there are different drone sizes that we have. So whenever a drone comes to the uh, drone port, the retail floor, there are different drone sizes and there are different landing gear width. So we're trying to accommodate different landing gear width on the conveyor that we have designed. So yeah, that was a really exciting day. Lots going on. Um, I was going to make it back and actually get some food, but Josh just called me and they're going to get some food. So I'm walking back to the innovation portal right now um, so that we can go get something to eat. So I got back a while ago, but I've been editing this video, so I haven't really been vlogging more. Also, this video has been getting long, but before I close this video, I wanted to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics ranging from illustration and design to freelancing and entrepreneurship. They make sure to have classes for all experience levels, which I personally really appreciate. Also, most classes are less than an hour total and they are made up of short lessons that fit into any schedule. I recommend productivity classes in order to help you stay focused and also any class that gets you acclimated with professional creative tools like Photoshop or Premiere Pro. I personally am really interested in the class DIY Product Photography, Style and Shoot Creative Stills by the photographers at Mango Street Lab, Rachel and Daniel. Everything is tailored for efficient learning so there's no ads and new premium classes are launching all the time. This makes it really easy to stay focused and actually work on new skills. And this is all less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. So I cannot genuinely recommend Skillshare enough. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. So yeah, some pretty exciting stuff is happening with Deuce Drone right now. Everybody on the team is really excited as you can hopefully see. And the cool thing is you can be part of the delivery future by investing in Deuce Drone yourself. All the links will be down in the description below and you can see how you can be involved directly by investing in us. Especially around here in Mobile, I'll be ordering some food from Uber Eats or Waiter and I'll be waiting an hour and a half. I'll be one of our engineers ordered and someone stole the food while delivering it. So he never got his food and he was going hungry for two hours for no reason. And stuff like that will just get avoided when the retailer is the last person to touch your package and you don't really have to worry about who's actually delivering it because the drone can be consistent every time. So yeah, this video has been getting long. I'm just gonna cut it there. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter to stay up to date with what I'm doing. And if you wanna see more updates from Deuce Drone, make sure to subscribe and have that notification bell clicked to stay up to date on all my latest videos. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.